absolutely huge TikTok news is going down. You know that anytime anything negative is to do with TikTok, I'm on it pretty much immediately, okay? I love it. We got two major pieces of news today. The first piece of news is that TikTok is actually getting banned. At least that's what the headlines say. In actuality, the ban is only on government devices. So if you're like an FBI agent or something, please don't install TikTok. That's right, I'm giving some absolutely epic advice to the FBI agents watching. Okay, so basically somehow, people are still so incredibly brainwashed that they still don't know that the TikTok app is absolutely 100%, thousand percent, million percent confirmed, it is Chinese spyware, okay? It is literally a privacy issue to have it installed. Now, for the average citizen of America or anywhere else, nobody really cares, like, what data are they gonna get off you, okay? Probably they can, like, get data off, like, all these people and then aggregate it, combine it, use some AI data analytics techniques, and probably extract some meaningful information. But the problem obviously or only arises when it's on government devices, okay? If you know something about the, the inner security of the United States and you have TikTok on your phone, it is absolutely a national security threat, okay? That is absolutely ridiculous. Now, TikTok is actually twisting this news. So believe it or not, it's not just the random headlines that are saying, oh, TikTok is getting banned again. It's actually TikTok themselves that are twisting the news because TikTok wants to make it out like it's 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 like an entire ban for all users uh, in the US or something, right? Because they want everybody to get mad, right? They want all the toddlers using the freaking app to get mad and then they want them to protest or rally against this change being like, no, 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 I actually love TikTok, please. This is, this is a violation of freedom of speech. Give it back to me, right? Now, believe it or not, the people who run TikTok are extremely smart, okay? So they're, they're doing this marketing ploy so that people are gonna be like, no, 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 please allow it on government devices. Please steal our data immediately. But basically, here's uh, TikTok comms, which is a Twitter account, which is the communication platform for Twitter, right? A US ban on TikTok is a ban on the export of American culture and values to the billion plus people who use our service worldwide. What are you on about, you absolute moron? Like, they're literally twisting the information. We're disappointed to see this rushed piece of legislation move forward, despite its considerable negative impact on the free speech rights of millions of Americans who use and love TikTok. <laughs> Dude, they are actually so desperate. It's not even a ban on the regular users. It's only for government devices. What possible need could they have for allowing TikTok on government devices? This is like the most blatant, blatant admission that it is a Chinese spyware app, bro. Here we got this article as well, European Party Parliament latest EU body to ban TikTok from staff phones. The European Parliament has banned TikTok from staff phones following in the footsteps of two top European Union policy-making institutions and underlining the mounting unease over the Chinese short video sharing app who accesses its user data. The European Commission and the EU Council last week banned TikTok from staff phones due to growing concerns about the company, which is owned by Chinese firm ByteDance, and whether China's government could harvest users' data data or advances interest. Beijing has regularly denied having such intentions. Yes, that's why I specifically want it on government phones. I don't want to spy on you, but you know, you can't really ban it off government phones, bro. Just so ridiculous, man. We live in an actual clown world. The ban starting from March 20 will apply to corporate devices such as mobile phones and tablets, which are enrolled in Parliament's mobile management application, a Parliament spokesperson and said, the assembly also strongly recommended lawmakers and staff remove TikTok from their personal devices, confirming an earlier story. TikTok said the bans were misguided and based on fundamental misconceptions. There's literally been an investigation into how it operates the app 
in what sort of da data it's harvesting. It is confirmed. This isn't a fundamental misconception. I'm losing my mind, bro. These mother flippers are basically just going like, no, actually, well, actually, I don't take your data. Bro, nobody believes you, you flipping morons. TikTok is enjoyed by 125 million EU citizens and potentially depriving users from access to their representatives is a self-defeating step, especially in a shared fight against misinformation where this action is being taken on the basis of fears rather than facts. Oh my god, the audacity, the audacity. But why are you so concerned with having them ban on like staff phones and stuff? Because TikTok is never, ever used as a means of communication between employees at like a, a company or something. It is not like an email or something like that. And this ain't, we're, we ain't talking about banning Gmail over here. Nobody needs TikTok. It is literally mindless child garbage entertainment used to rot your brain, bro. It is single-handedly probably destroyed the lives of so many future generation kids. They're like, oh, I wanna be an astronaut. Opens up the phone TikTok every single day, 10 hours a day. Yeah, Timmy, you ain't becoming an astronaut anymore. You you actually gotta study for that shit, dumbass. Now, don't worry, the story doesn't stop there. We got a second huge piece of news. TikTok announced that they will limit screen time for users under 18 to just 60 minutes a day. Okay, so in the, under the safety tab, changes to help teens manage their time on TikTok. In the coming weeks, every account belonging to a user below age 18 will automatically be set to a 60 minute daily screen time limit. While there's no collectively endorsed position on the right amount of screen time, or e even the impact of screen time more broadly, we consulted the expert academic research and experts from the Digital Wellness Lab at Boston Children's Hospital in choosing this limit. If the 60 minute limit is reached, teens will be prompted to enter a passcode in order to continue watching, requiring them to make an active decision to extend that time. Okay, now this is absolutely hilarious, okay? First thing, they're saying they consulted the Boston Children's Hospital in choosing this limit absolute complete bs okay i remember reading a study okay and it was like what is the average amount of time somebody spends on tiktok a day and i'm pretty sure it was around 60 minutes so basically they're setting the limit to what it already what the the amount of time people already spend on the app Second thing, they're not even limiting the goddamn time, bro. All you have to do is enter a passcode. Who the flip cares, bro? That's what I have to do for Netflix anyways, bro. Oh my god, do you think this will actually stop anyone? Sure, they're adding one more step, which honestly, that might actually discourage some absolute toddlers with the attention span of a goldfish, right? From uh, continuing to watch the next episode of uh, TikTok cringe. But... I don't think this move is with good intentions at all, honestly, because as we know on the internet, right, basically the, the under 18 ban thing is complete BS anyways, because even on YouTube, there's a bunch of like age restricted videos, right? Those under 18 videos that you can't watch, like you have to be over 18 to watch them, but users when signing up to any app will just say they're over 18. You just enter your date of birth. I have never given my correct date of birth to any website ever, okay? <laughs> just say, oh, except YouTube, obviously, guys, obviously YouTube. So my point is, basically, this is gonna do absolutely nothing. All the toddlers are gonna be like, well, I'm actually 21 years old. <laughs> Looks like I was born in 1998, eh? Eh? Easy. All right, so it, it, this is what they're gonna do, man. I love this response from Opera GX, okay? Sorry, I don't have the attention span to read all that. Can you add this below the article, please? And then Dexerator responds with literally that because this is literally how TikTok works now. You cannot watch any clip without some subway surfers gameplay underneath it, bro. I need to make that split screen for all my videos right now, bro. Crazy, why are so many people changing their birthday on the platform to January 1st, 2000? What a crazy coincidence. Now, the kicker is this isn't even mandatory for under 18 so it's literally a subset of a subset look at this tiktok setting a 60 minute daily screen time limit for users that are aged under 18 if young people hit the new limit they'll have to enter a passcode to continue to service use that day but they'll have the ability to opt out of the new measure which tiktok says will be rolled out in the coming weeks that's right the the under 18 year olds obviously are gonna 
opt in to this measure that restricts their TikTok app usage. Genius. The China-owned video app said it is introducing the feature to help people stay in control of their use, bro. Oh my God. If you think TikTok actually cares about your, you know, uh, addiction to the app, you are absolutely completely brain dead insane, okay? All they want is your data, your money, your absolute life, okay? The, if you look, like there's an entire study done into this. TikTok in Western regions like America and stuff like that, right? It is just this absolute brain rot, you know, 14 year olds shaking their butt on the site and just absolute degen content all the time right but if you look at tiktok in china it's a completely different thing bro it is some educational complete like actual astronaut bs bro they're shoving their brains with astrophysics while they're corrupting our brains with garbage ass picks here okay imran is the chief executive of the center of countering digital hate who recently published research showing tiktok's algorithm bombards teeners with harmful content tiktok has won the race for the hearts and minds of the 14 to 24 year olds in the united states and the united kingdom it is the crack uh, of algorithms it is the most addictive it is the most dangerous and the one that needs to be dealt with most urgently mr Ahmed told the bbc his center's research at the end of last year found that within minutes of opening a tiktok account a 13 year old girl, girl user was receiving eating disorder and self-harm content in her feed i told you i've been I like like i've literally said this in videos multiple times before that they literally know exactly who you are and they will provide you the most degen content imaginable okay and people are like it's actually based on your history and the other stuff you look up no it's not you idiot you cannot go on tiktok without seeing absolute degen content at least one once, okay guys if I have any advice for you to live a happy fulfilling successful life that is not plagued with degeneracy delete TikTok okay Jesus Christ my god it's about time bro my god